1999. I'm, I'm about 22 years old. By myself, a country boy from Dorchester, South Carolina. Salute. Dorchester, Hollyville, Ridgeville, Reesville, St. George, St. Paul, The Hill, across the branch, Somerville, Charleston. Salute because 22 years old, Phoenix, Arizona, country boy from South Carolina. Um, what's happening, good people? Man, I tell you, I'm smiling because I think I made a boo boo. Anyways, good morning, good morning, welcome back, welcome back, man. I got my blessed coffee cup right here. I got it full of coffee, not full, but you know, it's about halfway full. And number one, dad, I got my water. Didn't have any fruit yet, but I'm smiling because as soon as I open this page up, I see that the word effect effects is misspelled. If you notice right here, and I'm pretty sure. I changed this already, so if that's still misspelled, that means that accidentally didn't save what I had yesterday. But we'll see, we'll see, um, we'll see. It's it's early, y'all. Um, time is 7:43. Thank you guys for stopping back by. Yes, I do have on another white T-shirt. It may be the same white T-shirt from yesterday, but this is the shirt I slept in, and I won't be wearing this to work anywhere else. So. You may see it another tomorrow. Anyways, let's see, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's see, cause I'm I am I didn't get a sleep I, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, y'all. So I'm hoping this coffee kicks in rather fast, so I can get the brain, you know, the sprockets moving right, the gears. Hmm. Mm mm mm. -mm. All right, so we're going to get right into it, man. First thing I got to do is change this word again. I don't know if I saved it or not. I know it was misspelled yesterday. Listening to Lupe explain the effects of the drug, Suge had an idea. Using Lupe's expertise, he picked a handful and placed them in a pouch. I did not save it yesterday because I'm pretty sure I got rid of pouch. Okay, I didn't save it yesterday, um, and normally I do I email myself, but I didn't email myself yesterday either, so this is one of the things about writing, y'all, when you might put in a lot of work, a lot of effort, but the universe, uh, God is what I call it, God might say, I didn't like what you changed, so guess what, you're going to have to do it again, and that's where I'm at. Alright, so listening to Lupe explain the effects of the drug, Suge had an idea. Using Lupe's expertise, he picked a handful and placed them in the pouch. We'll, we'll, we'll keep the pouch. We'll, the pouch is going to stay. I'm trying to think. Y'all hold tight. I'll be back. All right, so y'all gonna have to remind me to email my email myself because I can't be doing this too many times. This, uh, you know, it's part of writing, though. Okay, early in the year, Suge had given his son Frederick a few gallons of corn liquor while he was visiting from New Jersey. Soon, the visits increased along with a demand for more product. Being the person he was, his son saw it as an opportunity to get rich quick regardless of who was involved in the scheme. Sometime around visit three, Suge remembered Freddie saying something about the liquor being so good that he could sell it on the black market to the right person. Connected people is how he put it. But his father had no interest in the money or his son's connected people and as a deterrent, Suge in his infinite wisdom thought that spiking the liquor I could actually go back and watch the video. But, um, should I do that? Uh, uh, boy, boy. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, no, let, let's do this. Mm, I'm trying to figure out how. Mm. Y'all, this is. 
it's one of those mornings i didn't get any sleep last night and this is not what i wanted to see it's first thing i didn't save my work from yesterday mm. But his father had no interest in, in the money or his son's connected people. All right, so now I'm going to have to. Okay, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Uh, today's 26, so I got to go back to 25. Y'all hold tight. Okay, I'm back. So apparently it did save from yesterday because I just noticed something. I watched yesterday's video, a part of it anyways. I'm glad I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys are glad I didn't you know put you through that but um, yeah so I don't know why that word didn't change so let's let's keep it let's keep it moving y'all listening to Lupe explain the effects of the drug Suge had an idea using Lupe's expertise he picked a handful and placed them in a pouch early in the year Suge had given his son Frederick a few gallons of corn liquor while he was visiting from New Jersey Soon, the, the visits increased along with the demand for more product. Being the person he was, his son saw it as an opportunity to get rich quick, regardless of who was involved in the scheme. Sometime around visit three, Suge remembered Freddie saying something about the liquor being so good that he could sell it on the black market to the right people. Connected people is how he put it. But his father had no interest in the money or his son's connected people, and as a deterrent, Suge, in his infinite wisdom, thought that spiking the liquor with mushrooms would be the thing to send the shysty group laughing and ultimately crying in horror on the way. According to Frederick, uh, according to Frederick Jr., according to Fred, according to Freddy, let's just say Freddy. We already know he's a junior, right? I don't know if we do or not, but we'll, we'll make that known. I think we already made that known, so. According to Freddie, the Northerners loved the stuff and wanted more. Money swapped hands, more money than expected as a bonus from their family. Money swapped hands, more money than expected. And as a bonus from the family, Wait a minute, where am I seeing and? Money swapped hands, more money than, than expected as a bonus from the family. And it wasn't long before Freddie owed more product than his father could make. Yeah, okay, so, all right. So yes, yesterday's changed, but for some reason, what word was that? For some reason, effects that word didn't change but I, I remember making these changes yesterday so we're good okay so according to freddie no, the northerners loved the stuff and wanted more money swapped hands more money than expected as a bonus from the family that, that doesn't flow right money swapped hands more money than expected Uh, maybe I'll put that in. Maybe I'll Stephen King this. Stephen King love his parentheses. Salute to Stephen King, man. That dude can write. And let me tell you something. I got a little time. Um, I you know I've been writing for this. This is this is my f second attempt at writing a book. Second, I gotta say that. Uh, I, and I said this story before. I'm gonna make it short. 1999 Phoenix Arizona not exactly having a great time in Phoenix um, got robbed the first day uh, racism a police harassment police harassment I was hanging out with the homeless people because I mean the homeless people showed me more love than anybody else in Phoenix uh, and I was only there for three weeks but it was a rough three weeks anyways this story came from that 1999 I'm, I'm about 22 years old by myself a country boy from Dorchester South Carolina salute 
Dorchester, Hollyville, Ridgeville, Reesville, St. George, St. Paul, The Hill, Across the Branch, Somerville, Charleston, salute because 22 years old, Phoenix, Arizona, country boy from South Carolina, um, is where this story came from. And I lost my train of thought, y'all. I got a little carried away giving all the salutes. Um, so let's get back to the story. Maybe it'll come back to me. Oh, Stephen King. So, anyways, this is my this is my first attempt, second attempt at writing an uh, actual book. And I, I, one of these days, I'm, I'm going to find the um, the tablet. I, have, I still have the tablet somewhere around. Here. can't find the tablet right now it's in my bedroom I think my uh, nightstand um Stephen King I, I I give a salute to Stephen King because I was reading misery one day I don't know if I told this story already I'll get back to this one. this may be a little bit longer today and I was working at Boeing for a subcontractor um what's the name of that company oh man I don't work for so many companies I can't remember the name TLD, that was the name of the company, TLD, ooh, and I used to get, I was the first guy to come in, I used to sit on a tarmac at Boeing in my little work van, and I would read for like an hour, two hours straight before, you know, the sun came up, that's how early I would get there, and I was reading Stephen King, Misery, um, you remember the, the book, Misery, you remember the movie with, uh, Kathy Bates, right? And I'm not a huge reader. Still to this day, I'm not a huge reader. But I remember watching that movie. So reading Misery, after I had seen the movie a few times, I'm seeing Kathy Bates. I'm seeing the characters from the movie. So that kind of enhanced the book a lot for me. Same thing with uh, A Time to Kill, uh, Color Purple. Uh, you know, books that I've read after seeing the movie, you know. So I'm reading Misery, and uh, I get to a point that I know that uh, Stephen King, he had to put his intent. See, writers can put intent in stories. It's almost like magic. It's, all, it's really almost like magic because every book I've written, certain, certain parts of the book, people come up to me and tell me I bust out laughing. Oh, I was crying in tears. I was so upset. I was this, that, and the other because that's how I wanted you to feel. So I was reading Misery and I get to a point where, where I, I wasn't even expecting the book to be a comedy, but I got to a point where it was so funny. I'm in my van reading this book. I started laughing so hard. I started crying tears. I mean, just, just laughing hysterically. And I say all that to say that, you know, I don't know where I was going with that, y'all. Anyways, let's get back to the story. That, that's just one thing I love about writing. It's putting your intent in the story. According to Freddie, the Northerners loved the stuff and wanted more. Money swapped hands. More money than expected as a bonus from the family. And... It wasn't long before, I don't, yeah, yeah. It wasn't long, hmm, I don't need a comedy, I don't think. I'm gonna leave it. And it wasn't long before Freddie owed more product than his father could make. He became indebted to the Bianchi family and owed Italian New Jersey crime syndicate, crime syndicate, I, I, that's, that's the word that I wanna, that's the word I wanna use. But I don't, I don't necessarily know the, the spelling crime syndicate here's some info about organized crime Siri how do you spell crime syndicate crime syndicate C R I M E S Y N D I-C-A-T-E uh, 
I think that every time I get to that part, I hear syndicate in my mind. Send syndicate in my mind. So that's what I'm gonna leave. Uh oh, New Jersey Crime Syndicate. And then I'll go ahead and do this organization. Okay, so alright. They needed a new batch. Apple pie. Mmm, is apple pie one word ago? I told you guys a thousand times, I am a high school dropout. I have a GED. I have, let me show y'all one more time. And I told you this is gonna be a long one today. But sometimes, and this is not really, this is not really flexing. I'm not flexing. This is not a flex. This is, this is the proof in the pudding. Yes, I'm a high school dropout. I have a GED. I have a learning disability. I have few learning disabilities. Uh, I was I was diagnosed with ADHD, adult ADHD, maybe six six seven years ago. You know, um, I actually got medication. I threw the medication away. Uh, what was it? Um, what was the medication? Anyways, this weight is about six pounds. Jaja. <laughs> this is my last published book, Ill Manic. Get that book. Get all of them. Mech. A book about superheroes. Black superheroes. My poetry book. Sunshine. And Saving Miss Caroline, the most popular one, the one that everybody loves so much. But Jaja is also another one that people love a lot. And this is not a flex. This is this is me being honest with y'all. So, how do you explain a person who grew up who grew up in a lot of poverty? I'll put those up in a little bit. I'll put those back up. In a little bit. How do you explain somebody who's and and those are published by me? The only book that wasn't published by me originally was Saving Miss Caroline, and and the people ripped me off so much. I think I, I spent maybe four or five thousand dollars to get that book published, y'all. And at, when when the company that ultimately went under, uh, Tate Publishing, uh, the, the the owner went to jail. Him and his son went to jail because they were ripping everybody off. Um, they might have sold forty five dollars worth of books for me. The majority of money, actual money I made off of Save Miss Caroline, I had to get on the ground and sell them myself. Selling them, hell, out of the trunk of my car, uh, um, book shows, uh, you know, book signings, uh, you know, these conferences, uh, uh, on the job. So, and I, I made back the money, maybe, I don't even know, but I, I think I did. But, published myself, written myself. How do you explain a guy who has a high school, who's a high school dropout, GED, doing that and doing this? It's not, it's not the fact that I'm, I, I read a thousand books a year or hell, read a hundred books a year. It's not that. It's my imagination. My imagination is like a, a, one of those um, Argentinian wells or Argent, Argentina wells you know the, the the wells that just uh, just keep flowing that's my imagination you don't need fancy pipes and everything to go to people's hot homes and and you don't need this intricate uh infrastructure for distributing the water all you need to go all you need to do is go get some buckets and fill up the water that's my imagination it doesn't stop like my imagination ever since i can remember is on 10 you know with stories and so that's the thing that feeds everything else that I do. My imagination. My imagination pretty much told me, hey man, you can publish your own books. My imagination told me, hey, you can write your own books. Hey, you can you can sell your own books. Hey, you can you can you can write a book on YouTube and people will watch. You know, people will watch and they'll be interested. So and it's been that way ever since a little boy. It got me in trouble in school. That's why I, I dropped out of school. I'm in class, but my mind is somewhere else. Like my mind is 
in the story. Anyways, that's that's the. It's been 20 minutes, y'all, and I hadn't gotten too far at all. This has been a, a teachable moment, I guess. All right. They needed a new batch. Apple pie was their favorite flavor. And apple pie was what they wanted, according to Freddie. Sometime after the concoction was made, a taste test was done. The raisins, okay. All right, y'all, so. Didn't get too far today, y'all know I got a job. I got a day job. I, I did more talking than anything, and I'm so glad this thing did save. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop it right here. We're gonna pick it up. Y'all know it. Some days are some days you can some days are good. Some days are you can say it was a bust. Today wasn't a bust, but today wasn't very productive. It was productive in the sense that I got a lot of stuff off my chest. And with that being said, I salute to all you all again. And uh, we'll pick it back up here tomorrow. Alright. So hopefully effects will be spelt right again. And I'm gonna save this. I'm going to email myself this, so um, I'll have it. Till next time, this is Anthony L. Kelly, man. Uh, Y'all be safe out there. And for all the people who got caught up in the hurricane there in, in Georgia, Atlanta, uh, Asheville area, Greenville, South Carolina, Spartanburg, um, uh, my prayers go out to you, okay, and your families. All right, y'all be blessed. This is Anthony L. Kelly. I'm out.